Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to edit Roblox videos for completely free. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that this is the beginner guide to the video. There will be an advanced video rolling out soon that is with a different editor, and it's just more complex, and it just has more stuff in it, I guess. This video is for people that are really new to editing, and they just want to, you know, add some cool edits, just make the video a little bit better, and just more enjoyable for everyone that is watching it, I guess. All right, guys, so before we can actually get to editing, you're going to need an editor. So I do have the editor linked in the description below. You can download it, or you can actually run it within your browser. That's why I said it's more beginner-friendly, because it works for both. But it, again, it is completely free, and there's also no watermarks um, for anyone that was wondering. So the next thing that you guys are going to do is I already have it downloaded. I'm just going to open it up real quick. All right, so now that we have it downloaded, we can actually start editing. So... The first thing that you guys will do, it was probably actually prompt you with a login page when you first start. Just log in with your Google account and then you should be good to go. I'm already logged in, so once you guys have uh, logged in, you should be greeted with this good to see you again page because it is good to see you again. Wait, what? But what you guys are going to do is it's going to say your videos right here. And then you guys are going to want to go all the way over here and click the plus button. And this will basically bring you into a new editor with nothing in it, just the basic... Uh, all right, so the first thing that you guys are going to need is actually some footage to edit. Luckily, I actually have some. So I'm going to just drag in, I'm going to drag in some footage like this. And as you guys can see right here, it says preparing 0%. So it's basically uploading or just telling, like putting it all into the editor so we can start editing. So I'll get back to you when it's finished. Just kidding, it's already finished. All right, so once you guys have done that, once it is loaded in, you guys can just drag it out of this little all and uh, the your media. You can drag it into the actual timeline. There's a lot of different things we can do from here. So usually what I do is I start zooming in so I'll just click this plus button or you guys can click control equals to zoom in now it all depends on how closely you're trying to edit this so I don't in this video I don't want the OBS my recording setup anything like that really shown because I don't need it so I'm gonna play the video and wait all the way until that's gone so I'm gonna move this timeline tracker so let's just watch it again watch the video and then pause it when all of everything is gone that I don't want and then I'm gonna click s to split the clip so this clip right here now is just the clip that I don't want so then I can click delete and then I can grab this clip and slide it over and then it just starts straight out in the battle or whatever I was doing in this that is how you guys basically split clips you can do that you can split tons of clips delete stuff really whatever you guys are wanting to do uh, it depends on what you're editing too uh, so another tip for when you're editing is in my videos whenever I'm not talking I cut that out I don't have a single part or I try not to have a single part of my video where I'm not talking because that's just boring and there's no point. So if there's just dead silence and there's nothing on the video that's important, cut it out. No one wants to see dead space. It's just kind of waste their time. And it's going to get you guys a better engagement. Engagement. It's going to just, I guess, get a better video. All right, so now we're going to be going over some more functionalities of the actual editor. We have the record and create tab over here, which we can do a screen and camera. We can do a camera recording and we can do a screen recording. And we also can do text to speech. So if you're not a YouTuber that talks like me or you just don't want to have your voice in the video you guys can actually use the text-to-speech tool which I can just click here and you guys can choose your language we'll just do stick, stick with English S voice style we can do I guess newscast friendly shouting I don't really I haven't really used this too much we'll just say excited okay well then just the guy masculine I don't really understand his name but you can change the speed and different stuff like that but we're gonna type in just subscribe to coca jola that's all we're gonna say and now we can actually click the preview button. Then if I click preview, subscribe to Coca-Cola. Now, because it can't read, it calls me Coca-Cola, which is interesting. Yeah, but let's play that again real quick. Subscribe to Coca-Cola. Yeah, but it plays it out. We can click save to media. And now we have this in our media and we can drag it down here into our audio track. And then, as you guys can see, we can, and we can just kind of add more and more stuff to the actual video. So again, if you're not going to be one of those people that wants to talk in their videos, you can use the text to speech. And as you guys can see right here let's just zoom in a bit you guys can see the audio track and you can see this person's talking the robot but i always cut any part out like this just it's just a waste of space so i just delete it because there's nothing happening there's nothing being said there's no sound so that's basically how i edit that part of the video the audio aspect and the visual now we have a lot of different things that we can actually do over on this side before i go into this side so if you guys click on your audio or your uh, video this this clip right here can be video and audio. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You guys can go to your audio. You guys can turn this up, turn it down, mute it, uh, whatever you need to do. And you can also detach the audio. So if you're wanting, uh, let's say your video right here has audio on it and you want to make an, make it a separate audio clip, that's what the detach audio button would do. And it's actually pretty helpful if you're trying to really see the uh, sound wave. All right, so that's the audio tab. The next tab we have is the fade tab. So whenever this clip starts, if we turn the fade in to like one second, it should fade in it should 
if I know what I'm talking about. There we go. If we change it all the way up to two seconds, as you guys can see, there is a fade when we start the video, which is pretty cool. And then we also can add a fade out to the video. But as you guys can see in this clip, the video will fade in. Documentary videos, I think, uh, if you're doing any of those. Then we also have the filters. So if you guys want to kind of like add a weird filter to your video. So yeah, it adds um, a, like an effect to it. You can change the filter intensity. It's, it's pretty it's pretty interesting. So if you guys are wanting to add a filter, that is also offered by this program. You guys can also adjust the colors, the saturation, the exposure, the temperature, all of that different stuff and then you can just reset it you can also change the opacity and then there's the speed uh you can also change the clip speed so if you guys want like a time lapse like like that we have we still have the fade on it so if we turn the fade off that is this little panel over here there's speed adjust colors filters fade all that different stuff there are templates as well if you guys are looking for that slideshow templates we're not going to go too much in here because i really don't use them that frequently we also have music and sound effects that you guys can do that they literally have on this platform which is another reason why i like it you can just drag it in and you can use it dog video you can also they also have videos just like that music so if you need like subscribe button or you need a green screen or really any of these things you guys can use them Stock images works the same way as stock videos and stock sound. So the next thing we actually have on the list is text, which we can do a lot with, but there are little cautions that I'm going to give you about using text. Don't use it really unless you have to use it. If your video has no person talking in it, no robot talking, no nothing in it, then I would definitely would use text because text kind of looks a little odd in some of my videos and I just haven't had that great of an experience with text. But if your video has no talking in it or anything like that, that's what you guys could use this text. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.